Go for it. Well, welcome back. We're the masses to another episode of Raft. Today we've got an Alberta Gridiron in the usual, as well as me, and eventually, perhaps I'm not in this episode, but maybe in the next, uh, our good friend Bo, who is going to come and uh, help progress the story. We'll finally get to see the conclusion of this epic. Oh, not even close to a conclusion, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, no, there's like three islands that we still have to visit. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I am dead Stop. wrong. <laughs> Poor Jaden. Just like, oh, well, uh, take the wind out of my Dang. sails, why don't you? <laughs> I'm just like, huh. Damn. Okay. Don't worry, Jaden will lie to you guys. Yes, but next, the next time I lie, it will be malicious and on purpose. True. Oh yeah, also I got into League of Legends, by the way, Jaden. Yes, did you actually try the character I recommended? I was pissed, because I can't fucking... I, 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 I clicked the wrong game, game mode. You're not... I don't... You can't even be, like, level 30 yet. There's, there's like, only two game modes for you. Team Tactic. Oh, TFT. Okay, that's fair. I've chosen the wrong choice. And I'm trying to figure out why the fuck my copper's not being collected. Oh, I'm so terrible at team fight tactics, so I don't play much. I think everyone is, honestly. No, there, there's some people who's great at it. I just don't understand it. Madness? Maybe? Something like that, I assume. I don't know, okay. but I figure out how it fucking works. It's a weird ass fucking system. It's like a. Okay, um, what do we want to bring with me? Yes, water first. Hey, is there anything you want me to get at the trader? Um. Scrap, primarily. Oh, yeah, also, uh, as we were. Concluded last episode that we finally got to this island, and though it is mostly inconvenience to us, we are going to be going on it to visit the trader to get more materials. And die. Also, I'm going to go underwater just so I can scavenge all the fucking water. And hopefully not die. That is always the hope. Despite how much Davis wishes for my imperial. Or mine. I can kill you in Minecraft, both of you. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't like to think I'm a competitive person. But I would love to set up something. Like a tournament, perhaps. Oh no. I do have Minecraft, so I could fight you in it. <laughs> I'd mess you up in Minecraft. I know how to play Minecraft better than both of you scrubs. Yes, me Ooh. and Jaden can go oh, get you. We already have that. This be sure dinner. We already have Jane. that. Jaden. Yes. Our honor has been so pissed. We must fight. I don't know. I would have said. Now. I would have said something uncomplicated, like silly, perhaps. Yes, but our on, but my honor has been disgraced, and so has yours. Me and you, who are the most murderous of all hobos, have been disgraced. That's actually where you're wrong. Oh. You could perhaps be a murder, murder hobo. I am a respectable person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's not I, wrong. I I will I will kill off my own character nine times out of ten before I will recklessly kill another character without any thought. Ditto. Okay. Because I I, I, I care I more about creating a good story than I do about just killing any. Person they come across. Even if they rob you blind? No, because. Jane, did you want to anchor us? No, I did not. Oh, that's just the waves then. Shit. Yeah. Okay. So, so even if, if a fucking, shall we say, a character, a NPC robbed you of all your money, you wouldn't care. No, because one, being a murder hobo is going out of your way without any thought or even perhaps care of your actions, just ruthlessly murdering without, without planning anything. 
if someone tried to grab me, for example, they'd be initiating the conflict. In which I would have all justification to murder. Shikamaru, are you okay? What's wrong, buddy? You don't want to sleep in here? Is that what's going on? I would not mind killing a character in that situation. Oh, so you just kill my character. Shikamaru. That depends on whether or not your character is fine. If the answer to that is yes, then you've initiated the conflict, and I will be the one to finish it. What if you just burn down your house? Well, what do you not get about initiating the conflict? <laughs> That's not initiating conflict. That just burns down some house. Yes, and I will. F it's it's like that saying goes. I may not have started the fight, but I will finish it. That's exactly what's going to happen. So. You will kill me if I try to burn down your house. Probably. Alright. Or I would do something that people might. Yeah. If I do the simple of burning down your wife's house. Then I'll burn down your parents' house. No, your ex wife's house. That depends on how good the terms with me and the ex wife were. If you're on good terms and I like her, then perhaps I'll just burn down your uh, step parents' house. No. What the hell even is this conversation? It's about us two murdering each other in a justifiable way, like civilized people. No, it's talking about whether or not uh, the restrictions I put upon myself as to not be a murder hobo. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not the type of person to be a murder hobo. There you are. It's, it's... No, I'm not. No, he's not. Being a murder hobo just isn't fun. Oh my god. Yeah, it just ain't. I, 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 I think I need you to help me. You done fucked up, didn't you? Did, did you die? No, actually, something worse. Uh, I was fighting a boar, and it hit me as I hit it with the left. Okay. So it hit me just as I killed it, and I am stuck in the uh, pickup animation as it flops lifelessly on the ground. Pickup animation? What the fuck? So, like, boars kind of have this animation where they pick you up when they hit you. <laughs> and it has me stuck in this animation because I killed it and it's destructive. Where are you? Okay, let me know when you guys set up. Uh, I am on the island. I'm like just up one of the hills. Yeah. Okay. I'll try my best to find you. Oh, I think I found the boar. Oh shit. Uh. Um. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Jaden, you might want to open up my stream real quick. Okay. <laughs> see it. Because <laughs> this is like one of those moments of... <laughs> oh, is that my body? Yeah, that's your body. Oh. Oh, no. What happened to me? <laughs> I'll start picking up the board, see if that helps. <laughs> what, what happened to me? Am I underneath the island? <laughs> it sent me underneath the island. I'm dying, dude. <sighs> I, if I get attacked by a shark under here, I'm gonna be so mad. A shark only attacks relative to the raft. Yeah, but. <laughs> what the fuck, uh, dude? Wait, That's like one of those moments of how the fuck did we get here? Uh, like the Minecraft achievement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, my chest hurts. Fuck. Uh, that was one of those moments of absolute bliss. For you, perhaps. <laughs> I was stuck in a boar's mouth. <laughs> 
the boar's will. Funny, I thought you liked to be eaten. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay, there's a trailer. It's a massive. It sounds like you've been betrayed. How do you feel about that? I didn't betray him. I actually got him out of a spot. Yeah. The no, only problem just... is is that he fell through the map. I had no control over that. It's hard to have any control over that. <laughs> you good, bud? Yes, I'm just climbing up this massive hill. Massive hill, like a mountain. No, maybe that's better. Work. <laughs> I think uh, okay. the dog's asking for me to take him out or some shiza. Only in real life. Huh? Only in real life. Yeah. Shikamaru down. The flow of metal has risen. Ooh, red berries. Fantastic. I want to. You know, it just occurred to me. I'm not entirely sure. Or, uh, how much the. Uh, hold up. I'm not entirely sure how to do the whole tree thing. You bastard! Ooh, there is a space in between. Okay, what am I saying? Oh my god. This creature might actually literally be the death of me. Sounds about right. Those fuckers are always on the annoying side. Okay. I could I have I literally have over three and a half rows of plastic on me right now. I wish I could trade with the trader underneath. The, uh, the platform. Actually, can I can trade underneath the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I and I fixed our green potion problem. Wait. I am trying so damn hard to fit all of this on one spot, and I can't because the ladder is, is in a precarious situation. A precarious... Okay. Position. Also, not to mention, it's hard to see down here. Really wish I had lanterns. I have a question for you guys. What is, what myth legend would you rather fight against? Do the death. Myth or legend? Myth, mythical god or demigod? Dude, I don't know enough to actually consider anything. Okay. That's tough because most myths or legends are literally just like, oh, you know, how can I. Okay, do I have to fight the myth or the legend at its strongest point, or like at the point at the conclusion of its story? I think at their strongest point would be more of a challenge. 
Believe it or not, the strongest point is the, actually sometimes at the very end of the story or journey. That's yeah, like most of it. Um, <laughs> Probably Loki. You fight Loki. That's, to be like, to be yeah, fair, that's, that's probably like one of the best choices because canonically in uh, Norse lore, uh, a lot of what Lo Loki does is just losing. Like, they they have a lot of like, they, they lose in a lot of their stories. Like their big thing was turning into a salmon, and then they're just immediately. Or like, um, when you turn into a horse and got fucked. Well, no, that's not what I was going to actually mention. Uh, like, how they invented the net, only to be immediately caught. Or how they were beaten by the fire spirit uh, in a battle of eating, I guess. In the eating contest, that's right. And then, they, they just have a long history of losing a lot of their fights. And that's because they're mostly used as a scapegoat, where Loki will, like do something, and then they ask, like, okay, Loki, what the fuck did you do? Go fix it. And then he'll be forced to fix it. So Loki causes a lot of problems, but he doesn't succeed a lot. So, if following the pattern, I would probably be the most, I think I'd probably be the most likely to beat Loki, as compared to someone like Hercules or Zeus, who are their strongest points, because, you know, like, destroying, like, you know, mountains and stuff. God yeah, like, damn it! So in all honesty, you just rather fight Loki. Probably. I just have the best. I think I have one of the best shots at fighting. All right. Not a good shot, my dude. But I, I just think fight. least. Huh? Okay. Which which myth do you think you like? You least want to fight out of everything. Kratos, hands down. So, well, Kratos is pretty much hands down. Kratos is not a beast. I say least. Fenrir. Fenrir or fucking Jormungandr. Okay, y Jormungandr is not even fun. Okay, because Jormungandr is just a really big snake. Like Fenrir would be really uh, annoying for him. So we'll just use pieces and pieces. Well, snake, you're not winning, but well, like you're gonna get eaten, and that's gonna be it. Well, actually, like, no, believe it or not, Jormungandr's poison is actually the most lethal thing. It killed fucking Thor. No, no, because so that's what killed Thor. Um, how the myth legend went is that Thor was battling against Jormungandr, the old serpent, and, and it says that Thor died from his wounds. It's not necessarily his poison. And no, either way, because he, he was poisoned to death. That's how it killed him. And because well, Thor dies battling Jormungandr, and Jormungandr uh, dies battling Thor. It's just yeah. those two beat each other. There's no really mention of poison. It's just oh that they fight each other to the death. It's like how Tyr and Fenrir they kill each other because. Um, well, no, because you know, Fenrir oh. devours Tyr after Fenrir escapes at the end of Ragnarok, after biting through his chains, because it's Fenrir's destiny to destroy, to defeat the one he trusted the most, aka okay. Tyr, okay. who was the one who was responsible for investigating. Actually, from what the legend I read, it was like, like Fenrir bit off Tyr's arm. Yeah, because... He, and he killed freaking Odin. He killed Odin. Then one Odin's children, who survived Ragnarok, killed Fenrir to, for vengeance. Okay. It's disputable because a lot of um, yeah. Norse mythology was told yeah, mythology was mouth to mouth, yeah. and then a lot of Norse mythology was corrupted by Christian um, influence when it was like stuck in um, Ireland, Ireland, and you know uh, the area. And then yeah. from there, like what we know about Ragnarok is it's kind of like a great reset, but it's also um, depending on like your influence, you could also interpret Loki as a Jesus figure. Because the gods in Norse mythology are not good. They're not good gods by any stretch of the means. Neither are like a god from a lot of other mythologies. Because they're not supposed to be good, they're just supposed to be uh, representations of what they represent. Well, not, that's not a good example. Um, well, not personifications right. of things that exist in the real world. Zeus is wild and uncontrollable because he re represents the storm. Poseidon is sometimes kind, but also often mighty, which is, you know, because he's the sea. And that's how they're most supposed to represent the, their aspects, because they're not always good. Also, I died, and I'm teleporting back to the raft. Um, so you were telling this story, just waiting for your, your chance to, like, respawn. Where back. are you at? Pretty much, yes. Um, Where but, are you at? Uh, I'm supposed to be teleporting, like, now. Unless I accidentally press no. Um, anyways, I'm going to continue Ragnarok's story, because it's actually really interesting. Ragnarok is basically like, because Ragnarok is about the dishonorable dead 
and the um, worthy dead from uh, both Because um, Valhalla. Okay, because the worthy dead were not only sent to Valhalla. Because the worthy dead were those who died in uh, into battle. However, there was also a kind of dishonorable dead and a kind of not so dishonorable dead, which is yeah. like people who died in like somewhat honorable ways, but not on combat, which is typically attributed to Freya and Freyr. And so, Ragnarok is about the completion of the of the worthy dead and the dishonorable. And that Loki, the betrayed, uh, and also often the betrayer, um, gets vengeance and uh, the vengeance upon his children. Those being Gormungandr, Fenrir, Hela, Ew. and so on. Uh, okay, who will actually you. defeat their Excuse enemies. Me, I, I have to interrupt you for a second. Then yep. Thank you. I've been fucking fighting a few people who've been telling me, Oh no, that that's not their children. It's not his child. It's not his child. I've been fighting people about that shit for a long while, especially yeah, no. when fucking um, Thor Ragnarok the the movie came out. Cause yeah, it, it's it's not Marvel. Uh, it's not like Marvel Loki. Like yeah. traditional Loki is kind of a mother of monsters trope, because you know they're responsible for Sledmir, uh, and Hela, and Fenrir, and Jormungandr. Those are literally all of their children. Oh, oh, don't, don't, <laughs> hey, don't forget Seb the horse. Okay, what's yeah, fucked up? That is fucked up. I find that more fucked up about about fucking Odin. He literally used his grandchild as a fucking a steed. Well, of course he is, but it does make sense since he is by technicality the most fastest horse. If I'm, if oh I'm, yes, Slipnir is supposed to be like the fastest horse in all of creation. Oh, I see where you are, Jaden. Not, not yeah, I, I. Well, it's not Fenrir. Am I on um, the boat? No, you you teleported to like the entrance of the island. Horse, uh, I think it was. You were right in front of it. <laughs> uh, horse was Slip. S L E I P N I E R. Norse mythology's words are always fucking so goddamn confusing, honestly. Yeah. Why do you think but I it... stopped paying attention to it most of the time? Okay. I... And, uh, yeah, Slip near is the horse, Fenrir is the wolf, Yomgan is the snake, or the serpent. And then there is Hela. Yeah, Hela, which is. Uh, the jewel half, goddess. Has a hell of fine ass. <laughs> uh, well, she was basically half dead. Yes, but it's... I don't recall if, it, if she was like that before she was into the underworld, or if that's why she was uh, right. That being uh, hell high. Yeah, and honestly, I kind of feel bad for her, honestly. I, I don't know about you, dude, but I kind of feel bad for her. You should. It's kind of like... Uh, the problem with a lot of the gods is that they set up their own destruction very, very often, because their children weren't really Loki's children, that being they weren't, um, they had no reason to kill the gods. They had no reason to, to rise up because there was nothing to rise up against. Like, okay. It was when, uh, it was when Odin and the rest of the, of, the uh, Aesir, uh, who betrayed them and, like, you know, put Fenrir in chains, bound Jormungandr beneath the earth, sent Hela to Helheim. That is when they gained a grudge for the gods, because now they had a reason to fight them. Yep. And all because it was selfish. Yeah, mostly, yeah, selfish too. A, a lot of it is because Loki just kept on causing problems, and then they were like, hey, if Loki's gonna keep causing problems, then maybe this giant wolf, who is getting stronger with every day, may also be a problem. And this serpent, who has no bounds in its size, may also be a problem. Or and then, instead of trying to actually uh, overcome their weaknesses, that being their inability to grow and change, like Loki, who is the embodiment of growth and change, uh, instead they actually bind up their enemies and throw them to the wind. And in all honesty, which fucked them over, you know? Yeah. Which, exactly. Spot <laughs> their own declaration. Well, in all honesty, Fenfear, actually, they, Fenfear actually trusted the gods at first, but then got fucked over. Yeah, which was, uh, also... Hey, yeah, Jaden, is your painting stuff different. ready to move? Uh, I would like us to get in motion before it's, before we move it, because there is paint loaded into the thing, and I think that would be... It finished. Okay, uh, if, if there's no empty paint cans by it? Nope. Okay, then it should be good. They were all well, filled. Well, in all honesty, well, from what I think, I don't know about you, Jaden, but I think it's mostly Odin's 
fault. I don't know. Maybe. It, it, okay, a lot of the problems in Norse mythology, like general overall problems, I know continuity is like, is, you know, part of the, uh, mostly Odin, and Odin's, uh, the Aesir, like the other Valhalla gods. Yeah. They're just, oh god, I was about to go out with any food for water. They're just way too high and mighty for their own good. They're, they're high and mighty, but they're also selfish. They're uncontrollable. Uh, again, inability to grow and change, because the Aesir are kind of just stuck in body mass. Yep. Loki is often, not often anymore, but in the past, was seen as a Jesus symbol because the idea of Ragnarok was not a bad thing. Ragnarok, in ancient Norse times, like, we can't absolutely 100 say, you know, say for certain, because, you know, no one from this was alive, but Ragnarok could be seen as a kind of purifying uh, force. Because Ragnarok is supposed to be the Great Reset, where Loki dies, Loki's children die, all the dishonorable dead are eliminated, as well as all the Valhallans and the Valhallan gods, who are seen as impure. And from this death, there's supposed to be only one god that actually survives, that being the god Loki murdered, um... Uh... Balder. Balder, thank you. But it Balder, the golden son. It was actually, wasn't actually Balder who survived, actually. Well, Balder is the one who was betrayed by Loki, and at the end of Ragnarok, he was supposed to be the man, the woman, and then Balder. However, we aren't actually sure if these are verified sources, because this often strikes a lot of Christianization of the area at the time, which did happen with a lot of other Celtic myths, such as Kukulain and uh, several other areas involving the Fae, and uh, stuff like King and such, with experience, which experienced a lot of Christianization as uh, Christianity took over the surrounding culture. It kind of sucks, honestly, because a lot of the myth um, for Norse mythology was actually pretty fucking badass. You know? A lot of the a lot of the myths were very interesting, but it's also very difficult to look at the end of the world Ragnarok and then immediately see it as the gold the golden god without flaw and imperfection, along with a one man and one woman rises out of the ashes of a ruined world and creates something brand new, and perfect. Because that just strikes a lot of early Christianity nudo. Well, the thing is with how well from what i read and researched it it was mostly about freaking one other because after because all loki's children except for i believe one or two i think one or i think one actually survives fucking speecher I'm not done trading yet fuck off i need to grab a new shovel there actually is some caves in the bottom of the shovel. Yeah, that's why I'm uh, grabbing a new shovel. Cause... I think actually there was... Because it depends on your interpretation of uh, Ragnarok, because there is not like two major sources, but there is one that also depicts the idea that uh, Satan or Loki himself survived as a contemporary force against Baldr, which it, it, he isn't explicitly called Satan, because uh, not only did Satan not possibly exist as a word back then, but also because a contriving force against Baldur, historically Loki, you know, being the one who murdered him and the betrayer and such, being cast as the devil in this story makes a lot of sense if it's a Christian trying to retake the surrounding culture. True, but the way the thing is how how uh, Ragnarok went this in Norse mythology from what I looked up. A lot of them died. Um, Loki was Loki and Heimdall killed each other because they could, pretty much. Um, Hell, yeah. Because from what I guess, I think she actually survives in in Ragnarok. Actually, I think she's the one who survives. Because all all Loki's almost all Loki. I think all Loki's children. Man, these metal detectors last a long time. That is beyond fun. Oh, there's no point. Okay. Okay, well, I got a bunch of titanium ore, uh, some silver algae for bow. I also got ginger and, um, or not ginger, ginger. And, um, chili. Did you get I also got ourselves some syrup. Uh, yes? Uh, how much, uh, of everything do you still got? Uh, I have 
over. I have 26 trash cubes, and I do not have any of the trading with So I'm gonna immediately make my decision for what to go back. Uh, don't we have like uh, fish to sell? Sell? Oh, we do actually. I completely oh. forgot about that. Okay, uh, Jaden. I don't know if you know about this, but do you know that Aesir gods is to punish Loki for causing Baldur's death? Um, literally, they actually, literally, while they chained Loki Ow. to a rock, they dripped stinging venom onto his face. Okay, he... so... Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but Baldur's death is why Loki was imprisoned, but that's not why the serpent was actually hung over his face. It's actually because Loki made an insult to the goddess of ice. Mm -hmm. I can't actually remember her name, but specifically a Norse uh, giant goddess of ice. He specifically insulted... Uh, I think calling her like a whore or the ancient equivalent. And that's why she hung the snake personally over his eye. So that when he flashed, it would create earthquakes. Which is the ancient equivalent for the explanation of that. You know that they actually, Loki's other like normal children, uh, he turned one of them into a wolf, losing his senses and tearing his own brother, Nafir, apart. And they used Nafir's entrails and used, him, used to chain Loki to his rock. Yes, actually, I do remember that. That's why exactly why he's uh, bound it. He is bound in, um, specifically no... in intros. Yeah, that's fucked. Oh, yeah. No, uh, honestly, this is main reason. This is probably main reason why Loki fucking saying, you know what? Ragnar's here. I'm my ch You fucking did all Oh, the holy shit, that's cool. I didn't. Hmm. The drawbridges are so fucking cool. Honestly, I, I honestly I have no drawbridge for the Norse gods because they fucked up and they fucking did that shit, you know. Yeah, absolutely. They they were just assholes. Yeah. But to be fair, when uh, you literally kill the supposed okay, because it's not just that fault. It's not just that Loki killed the like the most perfect god, quote unquote. It's also that he prevented prevented the gods' resurrection because Hela. Uh, actually literally like made a promise like hey we know that you I know that literally everyone on this planet loved him if you can get every single person to shed a tear over his death uh, I'll bring him back I'll just let him go and then Loki literally said nah and that's just why a tear did not cry it's because Loki just didn't cry or it was either uh, Loki didn't cry or he stopped someone from crying so that he wouldn't share the blame also, supposedly, uh, Odin actually whispered a ear into, in, well, whispered something into dead Bald into dead Baldur's ear, but we never know what actually he said. It's completely unknown. Well, say hey, stay dead, so we can start. Re so this is this. Our it it's it could definitely be something like hey, uh, come back after the world is over and such, but it's well, he unknown. Be, in all honesty, he wouldn't be able to leave the goddess. Of by all technicality, in all, in all honesty... Wow, would, I am too dirt off. Fuck. He would, he would not be able to leave the goddess of death fucking grip. No grasp, yep. Yeah. Grasp. Hey, Jaden. Yeah. Can we slip the night away? There we go. Because in all honesty, fuck. I, I gotta be honest with you. I think the way Odin saw Ragnarok was more of a... Glory battle. Well, it's also unknown because we do know that Odin is supposedly like the smartest person alive, and so he has like full fore knowledge of the future. Mm -hmm. But we we don't actually know because you know we can't you know see into the mind of God, uh, of God or whatever. Also, I look these drawbridges. Look. Oh. <laughs> I have a few crazy ideas with this. Go wild. I got two. So you got a short one and a long one. Yep. Okay. Aiden is going to try something. <clears throat> something very, very stupid. I'm wishing Aiden luck. I'm going to go trade these fish really quick. You think you're going to train these fish? Trade. Oh, okay. Alright. Hey guys, I'm gonna hop off. Hi. Good luck. Okay. Oh my god, we never discussed which god I want to fight the, uh, fight the least. Um, Ugh. tell me, are you guys gonna be here next time? 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe Sunday? Because I am going to Comic-Con tonight. Alright, then Sunday it is. Ugh. What do I want to fight a beast? Because okay. it can't be a god that would kill me. Yeah. I'm going to keep thinking this over on stream while you go to bed. Enjoy, Davis. I ain't going to bed. I got to do a few things on the computer. Good luck, then. All right. um, Later, Iden. Later. I'll see you, uh, I'll see like, uh, Saturday? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll see you on Saturday. Yep. Oh, yeah. Ciao. Jaden, I don't know if I didn't told you, but... Actually, I'll let Iden tell you. Later, boys and girls who of the Forge. Bye, yo. Bye. <clears throat> what did you want, to, want you to tell me? Okay, so, um, uh, I might have been able to get a job from Davis. Ah, oh, really? Yep. Okay, so that doesn't work. Does it pay better? Uh, than McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Even starting wage is better. Wow. It's gonna be like at least 15 an hour, right? Yep. Hmm. That is the minimum that he's paying. And depending on how well I work, uh, will also increase my, uh, I completely the forgot the shark can go after foundations. Okay, do you want, would you like another, uh, to say of two for something symmetrical I see? Uh, hold up. Before I actually answer that. Oh, Jaden, you have to come back to the raft real quick, buddy. Wait, why? I did something crazy. Okay, but like, how crazy? Because I am up here and I do- I'm extending a drawbridge. Okay. Is there anything you'd like me to get up while I'm up here? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not going to do that whole- crazy drawbridge thing. I got metal ore, I got all the copper I could get, I got all the cave mushrooms, all the turmeric, all the chilies, all the silver algae, all the juniper, all, all the titanium ore as well. Scrap? Yes, I got all the scrap as well. And all the Is there any dirt for sale? There is not. There is explosive goo. But we don't need that. I know. I also got us a wardrobe, because we needed, we needed one. And do you already have your pirate hat? Uh, hold up. I don't think I do. I do not have a pirate hat yet. You do now. Sweet. And you already have the canteen, the detail planks. You already have all of those blueprints. Yep. Yeah, I okay. think we have all the blueprints. Okay, then I think that's everything. I have literally three three trash cubes left. Fucking Squeezer, get off my team. I think it would have to be a god that would make me utterly miserable. Because it can't be just someone who's gonna who's gonna beat me. There's a there's a billion gods that, that are going to like instantly kill me. Yeah. So it's either gonna be a god that will take it the kindest on me, of which I'm probably gonna say Hecate. No. She will just kill me. Um, Quite possibly. Can't be Hera. She'll just kill me. Aphrodite will kill me in a horrible way. Um, I think it's either going to be Hebe, the goddess of youth. No. That's the god I'll most likely fight. The god that's probably going to make me the most miserable is probably going to be someone like Achilles, or Achilles from uh, Greek mythology, the goddess of misery and poison. No matter what, it's just going to be dreadful, utterly miserable, soul-sucking, and then entering in a very painful and debilitating death. Hmm. Could also be the Furies, but I would definitely say at least it's worse.
most like the fight would probably be mm -hmm. to be a good one. Gotta see it. Literally not much else other than like for this fight. Also, here's a pirate hat. Oh, I can't wear my tiki mask. Oh well. Did you get a pirate hat? I get a pirate hat. We got like three different hats in here. Like actual hats that weren't uh, just heads. <laughs> Which reminds me, I also have to uh, set up the beehive shit. I'll go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna switch out these batteries really quick. I also need to nab one of these. Wow, we got a spare scarecrow, don't we? Yellow, you are red though, so I'm gonna take that. Hey Jaden, can you do me a favor? Yeah, what's up? Can you grab me some flowers? Yeah, one sec. Oh, what kind do you need? Any kind. Okay, I don't really care. Or, like, flower seeds. Yeah. Uh, actually, I already have a chance for flower seeds. Let's see, move it. We good? Yeah, it's upstairs. Oh, okay. So you did move it. Yeah, I did. Okay. I, I expected that. Oh, flower. Flower, flower. Okay. Uh, 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 you don't want to take it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright. Maple planks. I'm gonna... By the way, I'm gonna keep uh, smelting stuff since I have much more stuff to smelt now. Yeah. Hey, uh, mate, I only need, like, I only need, like, 12 seeds. Ah, uh, I was just trying to make sure it's all even from the sources. Yeah, that's fair. We need to go under this island so we can harvest the scrap. That's uh, not a bad idea. I am not going to do that. Huh? Um, drink, drinky. There we go. Is it raining now? Sorry, I had to drink uh, some water. And where else I gonna put? There we go. Uh, juniper, turmeric, chilies, cave mushrooms. Nope, you go back there. And that's gonna be over there, so I don't need to worry about that yet. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that likes fighting anyways, though. Yeah, it's just the which one you think. How about... It's always gotta be a least in the list. Also, Robert's Longsword should be coming in soon. Wait. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking of. Speaking of. I'd like to organize a date where we can all get together and just bash, figuratively. But also literally, because I'll be bringing everyone's uh, polypropylene weapons. Sounds like fun. Right? By the way. A duel, but better weapons. We now have... A prop... Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Sorry, it just looks... The, the cone is pretty funny. I like it. Right? I need more wood to finish it. <laughs> Don't trap yourself inside. Although it would be a hilarious sight. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I, great idea. Brain, brain blast. What? We can we can build ways in extended areas, but have drawbridges connecting them. And then we can just raise and lower the drawbridges at any time. Oh my god! Right? Okay, so let's plan this out a bit then. Okay, because we don't need to have zip lines everywhere. We can just have drawbridges. 
which I still like zip lines for going like higher to lower areas. But like, drop. and there is there is also an X app. Ooh, could easily put one right here. Except I don't have one on me right. Now. I believe the long one worked right here. <clears throat> Where's the, where's the good place to put a flat? <laughs> Jane, you're a fucking genius. Right? Ooh, I could get rid of the ladders for this one. Or at least the ladders for this going up to this floor. Do we know where the sun is? Uh, I can't look all the clouds. Actually, you know what? I'll put it up there. Which means I will also take this one. Okay, it is not nighttime. Okay, it, wait. Oh, can only fall asleep during daytime. Which, wait. It's daytime still. But it's almost uh, nighttime, it seems. Oh, yeah. Can we put the bed beds? Oh yeah, we can totally set up our bedroom soon. Yeah, right. Oh, that's one thing I'm definitely looking forward to. God damn it. Boss. I was trying to remove something and I actually removed something else. Fucking Christ. Well, that's only one way of doing that. Uh, what you doing? Ah, the that's flag. Exactly, that's exactly what. <sighs> uh, for the record, Jaden. Oh, it blows in the direction of the wind, doesn't it? Uh huh. <sighs> okay. Because I was trying to hang it from the tallest place I could think of, but like this is pretty much the tallest place. I could just make a pole. Or, or, Jaden, we can yes. make two of these flags and then have one on a pole right here and then one on a pole. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, good idea. Uh, I'm still starving to death. I ain't got any food. I can't help you with that. I'm on my way. I believe it is also nighttime, so we can sleep the night away. I'm gonna eat an egg really quick, so I can just... That's better. <laughs> because we also have a lot of eggs. <laughs> also, speaking of, I need to repaint. Oh, I... Before I go to bed, I need to drink something. Or I will die. Or wake up dehydrated and also start drinking. That's a good option too. There we go. We can... Alrighty. We have survived 196 days. I know the perfect place to put this thing. Where are you going to put it? Oops, let me take this. Back here. Okay. 
Right there. Oh, that's actually is perfect. Yeah, that time is loud. Oh, what were you saying, Jaden? Uh, we need to paint things again, but also... Uh, well, it's the end of the video, so... <laughs> well, I guess that's conclusion. 196 days. Tomorrow, it'll be 197. And after that, 198. What will happen upon two day 200, I wonder? You know what I just realized? What? This would be an interesting series to uh, do 100 days of in-game time. That would actually, yes, actually would. 100 days of Raft. I wonder if... <laughs> I wonder if Ben would be willing to actually edit that for me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Eight times three. That's twenty-four. So I should get twenty-four honey from all this. I was also trying to hint that something interesting would happen on day two, but we have not thought that far. If if we think any amount of time ahead, you know we have actually been replaced by Bunny. Okay, so one of these didn't uh, isn't close enough. Wait, what's the thing? Oh yeah, it's the thing. Oh, it's funny. Oh, it's funny. Lantern to see both kinds. Fire basket and seen it. Fireplace. Pokey boards. Seating. Alright. So Oh shit, I forgot to hit the stop recording button. <laughs> Blue for oh, real. Wait, Anywho, thank y'all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, kind of a that's all folks. Yeah. That's all folks. Ciao for now.